This clip, which shows three penalty corners being taken by the Australian women's team during the London Olympics in 2012, was first posted to YouTube in March 2018 because I learned at that time that there was statistical support for the positioning of the umpire close to the goal line and near to the goal post. Apparently the statistical data showed that this position is one in which the umpire can see more of the actions relevant to a fence in a, in a hockey match. I happen to disagree and I put up this video to show a top class umpire having three goal decisions reversed in quick succession during one match by way of an illustration of the inadequacies of this position. The video was posted to YouTube and sat there for seven months without anybody making any comment about it and then at the end of October 2018 I got a, po a comment from a, an, an individual informing me that I was absolutely incorrect to describe the shots at the goal here as being dangerous. He pointed out that the first one was dangerous because it was not on target but that the other two were not dangerous because the outrunner was running down the barrel. In other words the outrunner was causing the danger. I didn't point out to this individual that the decision made was not mine but that of the match umpire following the recommendation of the video umpire that the shots were dangerous play but I did point out to him that the rules of hockey had been observed in these instances. He disagreed totally. He conceded that this first shot, which can be seen to be have been made near the shoulder, near head height of the outrunning player, just on her shoulder, was dangerous play because it was off target. This off target is dangerous idea appeared as an on target shot at goal cannot be dangerous during the Beijing Olympics in, 19, uh, in 2008. It is pure invention, there is no rule backing for it whatsoever. Having had her first shot disallowed as dangerous play for being too high and at an outrunning defender, the Australian taker immediately produce an almost identical shot for a second attempt. This shot was on target and deflected off the outrunner into the goal but the video umpire recommended disallowing the goal and awarded a 15 metre free out to the Great Britain side. My correspondent insisted this was dangerous play by the outrunner. In support of this contention he offered this from the rules of hockey penalties. But he did not in present the entire uh, application. What he wrote was, a defender who is clearly running into the shot or into the taker must be penalised for dangerous play. Thus overcoming any possibility of co cognitive dissidence by leaving out without attempting to play the ball with their stick. He also left out the bit about the shot being penalised for dangerous play if at a defender and above knee height. I pointed out to him that the use of the term running down the barrel is inappropriate. There is no barrel. There is no gun. This is not a cannon being fired from a fixed position which is unmovable. It's flexible and a shooter has a responsibility to try to avoid hitting an outrunner. The Australian shooter, having had two previous attempts disallowed for dangerous play, learned nothing and her third attempt was made in exactly the same way, although a little bit lower. High into a defender in this case about chest height, which is well above knee height and therefore clearly dangerous play. We still, even today, have umpires, players, 
who think that an on-target shot at the goal cannot be dangerous and that an outrunner at a penalty corner causes danger by running down the barrel, whatever that means. On top of that, we also have the Dutch uh, Hockey Federation declaring that, or instructing umpires, that a shot at the goal which is defended by a defender on the goal line cannot be disallowed because of legitimate evasive action by that defender. Legitimate evasive action, according to them, does not apply to defenders on the goal line. This too is a complete invention without any rule support whatsoever.